Hi everybody, Brian Bross, DallasCowboys.com, and welcome to the Academy Sports and Outdoors Film Room. Hey, back with you for another season of breaking down plays for you as the Dallas Cowboys got a victory to start the year against the New York Giants. Again, like I talked about always, we're going to look at these plays, we're going to study these plays, and we're going to try and figure out why and uh, they work and why sometimes they don't work. So I want to focus in on, a, again, uh, with... Uh, I'm looking at, you know, the Dallas Cowboys receivers did such a great job. The, the receivers did such a great job. And and offensively, you know, with Dak Prescott, the success he had, a lot of it had to do with the offensive line did a great job. But again, I'm going to focus on these receivers, and I want to focus on Randall Cobb. And I particularly want to focus on Randall Cobb because I think that he brings so much toughness uh, to this squad. And he brings the ability to, to, to make those plays, those tough inside catches, on the outside down the field. You know, he's just totally different. If you listen to me bunch talk about him, he's completely different from what you have with Cole Beasley. And I'm gonna give you an example of why I think he's different from Cole Beasley is that, and again, that's no disrespect to Cole Beasley. It's just that, that Randall Cobb is a different type of player. And I want to also focus a little bit on and show you something here that it kind of what the, the theme of the of the plays or what we saw from the plays with pre-snap motion. And you know, we, we, we talk about a lot of times what we call the bunch formation, where you got three guys all in one area right there. And, you know, and that's something that Kellen Moore has showed us, you know, not so much in the preseason, but he showed us during practices, those times we were in Oxnard, that he was wanting to get into a lot of bunch formation and then try and make this confusing here for the secondary, make it confusing for the linebackers. But when he starts off in the bunch formation, and then what he does is he's going to motion, he's going to motion Amari Cooper across to over here. So all of a sudden now you get a twins look over here. Again, that right there is Michael Gallup, and then right there is Randall Cobb. So for example, again, that's those still tight formation with those two guys, and now these guys in the back end are going to have to kind of sort things out at, uh, to see where they need to play in the route. So. I'm going to run it for you forward here and show you. Dak Prescott again. He's going to bring Amari Cooper. Okay, look at all right now. Look at all the adjustments. Jenkins is going to have to come across. Linebacker stepped over. Now you got this. Everybody's kind of aware of what just by that simple little movement he affected. Look at over here what's going on. There's scrambling going on on this side over here just because of the twins look. So just that little shift gave Dak Prescott the type of coverage he was going to see. And now he's going to identify, you see right there, he's pointing out, he's pointing out the, the Mike linebacker. So they're going to identify what's going on in the front. So nice job by everybody. Just a little simple motion. Dak Prescott identifying the front. Jamez Olawali playing as the, the, the back right there. He's looking to see, notice his eyes are inside. So a lot of good things for the Cowboys here pre-snap. Okay, I'm going to run the play for you forward here. There's the coverage. There's some confusion a little bit. Prescott's going to take the snap. All right, let me stop it right there. Okay, look at all the space that's open right there. Look at what's going on here. You got three guys to cover two guys right here, but there's a lot of space. So what do they do, though? Michael Gallup continues running up the field, and that affects the coverage. Watch the coverage get affected by this. See? Nice job there. There's, there's a little bit. There's the cross right there. Look at this. They're going to try and sort this thing out, but Baker's going to go inside and the other corner is going to go to the outside, and that allows, allows Cobb to get to the outside. But watch, but watch this. There's the cross of that little bit of hesitation right there. A little bit of hesitation by Hamilton, the corner by like that, because he was fearful that he was going to run into Baker. Okay, ball in hand right now. Now, this is what all this is what Randall Cobb sees. He sees all he has to do is beat Hamilton right there, and there's a possibility that he could get in the goal into the, into the end zone. Okay, let me fo focus on something else right here, guys. There's the sticks. Notice right there, there's third down, and there is where he has received the football. So he's still got to find a way to get to that spot right there to either get into the end zone or to get a first down. Okay, here we go. Right there, look at that. Look at the stiff arm. Look at the stiff arm in the chest of Hamilton. This is an old running back right there. Boom, stiff arm, throw him aside. Now watch the next thing that happens. Again, stiff arm to the chest, throw him aside. Okay, look at this. He runs right over, 
or right through Bethea, the safety. Look at Bethea, ter terrible tackling position. Look at that right there. Terrible position by Bethea. And you know, with the, the way, with the way Cobb, he's gonna put that shoulder down and go. So nice job by him avoiding Hamilton, the corner, to get to this position. Now he's right on top of the stick right there. So there's no doubt he's gonna get this first down. Look at that. It took, it took extra players to come over and get him. Again, we're gonna run it back for you here. Stiff arm to the chest to control, get rid of him, lower the shoulder, boom. Nice job right there by him. Okay, the next play right here I wanna show you is, is something that I, I, I love what I'm seeing from Xavier Woods. I, I, I'm just telling you about that. I'm a big, huge fan of Xavier Woods. I was a big fan of Xavier Woods when he was coming out of Louisiana Tech. If you remember the draft show, all that, I was, you know, the whole, all of us, Dane Burglar, Dave Hellman, all of us, we were trying to get him drafted here. And then sure enough, the sixth round, they get this guy. Okay, I want to, I'm gonna show you right here a couple different things about him. Here is, here is going to be Xavier Woods right here. And this is a fourth down play. It's down and distance wise, it's fourth and one. And you know, the Giants, to me, Pat Shermer did the Cowboys a favor because handing the ball right here to Barkley would have made the absolute best sense in this down and distance situation. But there's a couple of things, again, you got guys that are playing responsibility. Watch the responsibility out here from, from Demarcus Lawrence on this particular play. I'm gonna run the play for you forward here. The Giants, they're gonna go play action. Okay, there's the fake. There's the fake. I'm gonna run it back for you right there. Look at that. Look what they do. Linebackers are gonna step over. All right, stop it right there. Okay, Xavier Woods, you know, you got Jeff Heath down here on the end. You got Lawrence has started this way, but he's going to spin back inside. Xavier Woods, look at the eyes of Xavier Woods. He's looking downhill this way. He sees what's going on here. Van Der Esch steps up. You got everybody kind of in position right here. And then you have Shepard, the receiver on the back side. He's coming screaming across the field. That's where the throw is going to be. They're going to try and they're going to try and two level the Cowboys here and, and get this ball into the end zone. I'm going to run it for you forward here. Okay, stop it right there. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Great job. Great job by the Cowboys in the secondary. Let me show you right here. I'm going to stop it right there. Okay. Anthony Brown is in, he's in chase mode, but he's got, he's got Woods right there. Nice job by Awuzie locking up his guy right there. Van Der Esch is going to affect the way that Manning, once he, he should, Manning should fire the ball right there, but he, for some reason, he holds it, and then it allows Van Der Esch to get all the way to the outside, and now you got Lawrence coming from the inside right there, and so what's gonna happen is, you got Manning who's gonna try and escape back to the inside. Here we go, let's run it. Oh, pulls the ball down, okay? He pulls it, and now he's gonna try and find another place. So, Great job by Van Der Esch right there. Look at Van Der Esch. Okay, I want to point something out here too as I run this back for you. Great job by, by Van Der Esch to force the throw, but I want to show you something right here. Look what we see right here. Once Manning get outside the pocket, he becomes a runner. Look what Woods does. Smart play on his part. Tackle, he tackles Shepard right there, and Manning's got no throw. Once he's outside the pocket, he's deemed a runner. So smart play by Woods to eliminate Shepard. You got a Wouzier is still in position over here. And again, I mentioned Van Der Esch and then, and then Lawrence coming from the inside. Watch this, here we go. He tries to pull the ball down. Good job by Tank. Look at that, look at that. Tank, Tank with the big hit. The big hit, you got him, you got Van Der Esch. Pulling at the ball, you got Tank pulling at the ball, and as he's falling down, the ball ends up right in his lap. Great job! They get off the field on third, on excuse me, on fourth down, with great coverage on the back end. Smart play by Woods to make that tackle to kind of take Shepard out of the play. That's just being a smart football player, and then the leverage that Van Rush is able to play with, and then the inside help from Lawrence. So. 
That's why you win football games. That's why you're able to make plays on defense. I think the Giants helped you a little bit with the fourth and one call right there, but it was well executed by the Dallas Cowboys defense, able to get to the play, make it, get the stop, and then go on to get the ball back. So those are a couple plays. You know, there were a lot of plays in this game, though, that were really, really a big time plays. So, you know, that's something that, again, hopefully the Cowboy offense, defense can continue on. Next week, they're in Washington. DC to take on the Redskins. We'll be back with you for another film room then.